Hi, I'm Eric Curlin from 3D Space, and I'm here at the Monster Palooza Convention in Burbank, California. Now, monsters have been a popular subject for 3D over the years. We recently had the Godzilla movie that was released in 3D. In the 1980s, we saw Jaws 3D, Friday the 13th 3D. In the 1950s, of course, we had the classic films, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, Revenge of the Creature. It came from outer space. House of Wax, and my personal favorite, Robot Monster. But there were 3D movies before the 50s. In 1941, there was a 3D short film called Third Dimensional Murder that featured the Frankenstein monster on the top of a castle wall. But the mighty Frankenstein pushed that heavy, steaming cauldron forward. And prior to that, in the 1920s, Universal Pictures used 3D promotional images to promote the Lon Chaney films Phantom of the Opera and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. But going back even further to the 1860s, there was a set of cards, stereo cards, produced in Paris. They were called Diablerites, and they depicted clay figures of skeletons and demons and devils living their lives in hell, or perhaps their deaths in hell. The cards were very interesting, primarily because they were hand-colored on the backs, and they had a tissue back bar so that if you just looked at the card in the stereo viewer, you saw a black and white image. But if you held it up to the light, the color showed through, and you saw red devils and green demons and skeletons with glowing, piercing eyes. These are quite rare and very unique, and you can learn more about them in a book that was published by Dr. Brian May. You can go to his website uh, and check that out. And if you want to learn more about 3D in general, you can go to 3 dspaceorg and uh, find out more about the museum that we're trying to start. And please, make a donation to our Indiegogo campaign so that we can make the museum a reality. Thank you.